What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, I missed a couple subs, actually. And Faden, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Even though you do have to manually uh, Twitch sub. Twitch Twitch Prime sub. And Aldane, thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. You guys are great. You guys are excellent. Today, in in the Magic Online arena, we are playing some... That's not what it is. That's both programs combined. We're playing some, some Commander. Get out of your system. You good? Yeah, Mike's chewing some gum, so if you guys are into the ASMR, you could get some gum chewing ASMR. And uh, looks like we're playing a Grixis deck. Someone in the chat, uh, I believe, I thought it was Aldane. No, it's it was Felix Last Life said, I feel like Mike B would play a Grixis deck. Sure enough, it's a Grixis deck. Uh, Mike is actually a pretty degenerate com commander player, in case you guys didn't know. And Just look at the artifacts, man. That's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop. Here's an artifact. Mike needs one cut for this. So what's the basic pr premise of this deck, would you say? Put the fatties in play, yeah, make it's them the, pay. Put the fatties in play, make them pay. So my one cut I was considering was Pestermite, because it's like the weakest of the twin targets. Yeah, and you have to see Rex Argenzel's conscript still. Right. Um, Do you not... Uh, is there a reason you don't have Through the Breach in here? I think it's too cute. It's like a one-time thing. As where sneak attack, you can do multiple times. Okay. I mean, I like the idea of through the breach, and I would like to add it, but I don't know where the room would be. I would never have guessed you for EDH spiky scum. Well, here we are. So that's why you guys shouldn't meet your heroes, because they'll just let you down. Look, this deck isn't that broken, okay? I'm just trying to cheat fatties into play, all right? Worth noting, Mike did say... Uh, Mike was pretty proud of the fact that he actually came up with the whole deck himself. Yeah, this is 100% Mike B special. This is a Mike B special. He actually brewed this the other night. He was like, I gotta, I want to brew a commander deck anyway. So he actually kind of pretty much brewed this from the ground up. So, As much as I like Pester Mike, I think Pester Mike's a cut. I could see that. Um, how many clones do you have? Do you have Phyrexian Metamorph, Clever Impersonator? And Image. And Image. I guess we can cut a clone. Is this card good? This card's pretty good. <laughs> is this the two-mana one? Oh. Yeah. So you can go get Boots or... Or uh, Greaves. Or Greaves. You can also get any of the you two just drops. get Signet, yeah. Yeah. So Grim really Monolith, good. Jesus. You got Demo in here? Of course I got Demo. You got Mana Drain in here? Mm-hmm. What do Mana Drains go for IRL now? I don't want to talk about it. Really? I like 50 bucks. That's not too bad. Do you remember old Mana Drain before it was your printed man? It was like $300. That's fair. Now, you get the Italian ones for like 80 or 90 You got to do this. What kind? What kind do you get? The Italian. <laughs> There's got to be some greedy in here we can cut, right? Necropotence? Is Necropotence good in here? Bro, triple. have you ever casted Necropotence? It's triple black, though. Is that a problem? It's fine. Okay. No, that's not a problem. <laughs> Who was in Discord that was making this deck? Literally Mike B. Unspeakable Symbol? What is that? Do you know what that is? This has to be one of the appealing parts of Commander, right? Like, there's cards that you're just like, oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh yeah, this is the pay three life put up. That's it's good, but I feel like uh, Bolas's Citadel kind of does the same thing, but better. How so? Because you get to cast something for free by paying life. I mean, they're different, but they're similar. Oh, it's only three mana though. <laughs> you know, like you're changing my tune here. Oh, sp I like Spark Double actually. What does Spark Double do? Spark Double is the new clone. It lets you copy legendary permanents, but it doesn't. Uh, it comes in with a counter, and um, it comes with an extra counter. So if it's a creature, it gets an extra plus one plus one counter. If it's a planeswalker, it gets an extra loyalty counter. And if it's a legendary permanent you're copying, it's it's not legendary. So is that just better than Clever Impersonator? Probably, because then you can. Co the thing is, you can't copy other people's stuff. Oh, yeah, I don't like that. But if you have, like, an Ulamog out, you can copy your own Ulamog, and you don't have to sacrifice one of them because it's not legendary. Maybe we can cut Recurring Insight. Maybe that's just too much mana. Darkest, you go to the cards and target opponent's hand. Six mana is a lot. Yeah, but it's so good. It comes it's, back and draws Kukusha's got to be good because there's multiple players, right? Right. And it's also, like, a way to gain life, which I don't have very much of. All right, let's cut Recurring for now. Is there a Palancron combo? Uh, yeah, Sneak Attack from Tom Ground, if you have six mana, infinite mana. 
Is it infinite? Oh, yeah, because, you because you'll just yeah, because it costs you one. So you four to bounce it, one to play it, and then so the one, one you you're netting one, yeah, matter. yeah, you always net one. No dreadbore, huh? Uh, bedevil does that, and Hero's Downfall does that. Bedevil, I'm just trying to get in your head, man. And gamble is a card that Mike took out, but then he added back in. I mean, it's a it's a pretty good tutor. You go to for Ulmog and then go discard the Ulmog and then I feel like we should. I feel like we should add through the breach though. Oh yeah, now it's now it's. Uh, I mean, I like it. It's spicy, right? You just kill someone. I mean, you're still putting in like a, a like even if you put in like a Rune Scar Demon to just get the get the trigger or like. This card's a real scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> that card's a real scumbag. But the cards like this, you don't want to really sneak attack in. You just want to cast this, right? No, because Marchesa. Read Marchesa. Okay, hold. Oh, that's right. It's just... Okay, so whenever a creature you control the plus one looks down and it dies. So you have to attack the player with the most life. What if it doesn't deal damage, though? What do you mean? Oh, it just gets the counter no matter what. Yeah, yeah. Uh... That's interesting. That's really interesting. Mike, all Gamble says is search for a card and then discard Gamble. It's horrible. <laughs> That's literally all it says. <laughs> no one's ever had a, had a card from Gamble stay in their hand after the Gamble resolves. You know, fine. Let's cut Gamble. You got Vamp Tutor and Demonic Tutor and Mystical Tutor. So, like... Hey, but Gamble lets you get anything. Yeah. It lets you put... It's, it's based... I like the spiciness. You want to just put in Tomb? In. We can just put in Tomb in here. And Tomb is... It's the same thing. It's, it's, it's the not, same card. It's not the same thing. <laughs> I'm just talking with you, of course. Is Unspeakable Symbol better than Bolas's Citadel? Maybe? Unspeakable Citadel, maybe. That part, that card's got to be super cheap, too. I could probably just buy that. Um, I feel like that card's great, though. It's like you just pay life and put a fatty in a play. Yeah. What up, chat micaronis? Well, this is 99. Like, we actually, we're good now, unless you want to add unspeakable symbol. How about we cut Gamble and put in Notion Thief? <laughs> in case you guys thought Mike was unfun before. Hey, he's only unfun if your opponent's doing unfun things like drawing seven cards. What if they want to draw two cards? They don't deserve it. Okay, well, jeez. Do you want to put unspeakable symbol in? Because you don't not have to put it in. Like, these aren't mutually exclusive. Um. Yeah, but I don't know what I cut for it. I'll just pick one up anyway. Marchesa. The one of the main things I don't like right now about uh, about this interface, and I think it's actually fine. Watch, it's gonna be like four tickets. Literally zero zero three cents. Not even one penny. Nice. Three three tenths of a penny. Love it. What I one thing I don't like about uh, about the interface is that there's like four different fonts in these boxes. Like these, this is a different font than this. This is a different font than this. There's like at least three different fonts being used. I'm just like, do we really need this many fonts? All right, but there's an unspeakable eagle in the deck now. Do you still want to cut Pestermite? You have three. Yeah, we could, could probably cut Pestermite. Are you ready? Yeah, we, let's are we do doing it like this. this. Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, you know the drill. I'm going to create a commander game. If you guys would like to play, definitely add me as a buddy if we're not already buddies on Magic Online. And then I, you will be able to uh, to join the match. So, Twin combo seems random, but I mean, like, it just wins out of nowhere, right? My name is Michael. I live in the trash can. More fonts, more fun, just like Six Flags. That's true. The more fonts you add, the better thing something is. Unless someone has Torpor Orb. That's true. 
Who's this? Do you know who this is? Nope. Is it Dav? No, I don't think it's Davriel. Maybe it is. Sarah, who's your avatar? Should we warn anyone in the comments of the match? <laughs> I love our deck. No, this is why we're doing friends only. And like, if you guys want to join the match, if you want to, uh, if you guys want to play commander with us, uh, just message me on Magic Online first. My name is Frank Space Lapore, as you guys probably know. Shoot me a message, and then I'll add you as a buddy. The mirror guy from the GRV packaging. Who the hell is that though? Lazav. No way. This is not what Lazav looks like. Lazav looks much spookier, and I don't think he has like a beard. Much spookier. Shut up and take my money. This is Lazav. I'm really thinking about setting up an MTGO account. What kind of meta is online? Is it all hyper aggressive decks, or can you actually have a fun deck? Or do you have a play group to act? Um, you don't need a play group. You can always just jump in queues. It's not hyper aggressive at all. It's very much different from the um, from the arena meta game. This is Lazav. This is some weirdo with like he's got like gray hair here and he's got like some eye shadow, but these are totally different characters. Lazav is a shapeshifter. Okay, listen. I'm gonna start with three. I usually start with three people just because uh, I think the, the the crowding is much more manageable. It gets a little bit uh, a little bit overwhelming when there's four people. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Also, you guys have the benefit of having seen our deck first, so. Space Lapore is my synth rock band. Wow. I'm really glad I gave you permission to use that name. Michael B. is a merry little Christmas. Michael B. Every day. Michael Seems like an easy mulligan. You don't want to keep this? No, I don't think so. If we hit a land, we can go ponder. That's pretty name. That's what I said. Shit. <laughs> Mulligan to seven cards? Sure, if you put it that way. Yikes. Michael, what are you doing to us? Okay. Okay. Keeping it. Who's Twilight? Do you know who Twilight is? We got a Nicol Bolas, a, 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 another, another Grixis deck. And we got a Sylvala. Not to be confused with Sylvanas, uh, Care of World of Warcraft lore. <laughs> Get your Time Life Christmas classics now, featuring Mike B as a Merry Little Christmas and Frosty the Frostman. Actually, wasn't that called Frosty the Titan? He's a very frosty boy. Sorry, what's the hold up here? Take my money. What's going on here? Land Seahorse. EDH is objectively, absolutely, totally, and empirically, verifiably the best MTG format. Wow. That's, uh, that doesn't, that doesn't feel true. It won't let me play a land? What, what is this two here? And three? What are these numbers? Uh, are you sure you have lands in your hand? This is awkward, right? Huh. Huh. <laughs> skip my turn! No! I mean, we can just all skip a turn. I'm, I'm okay with that. Oh, I got a Eurogross in there. Oh, what? All right, that's weird. <laughs> huh. So it goes to Sarah's turn. She has to go to discard to discard. And then she plays a land. Uh, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. 
Just wondering if she's opponent, each one discards a card and puts that many that puts the top card. Yeah, interesting. Uh I think it's just a land, right? Probably Island? Yeah, I think it's Island. I mean I'm assuming we'll hit a third land, but Frost and uh, look we just hit another land, so I'm never gonna hit a third land now. Oh. What? That's fine, I guess. What? You wanna you wanna fetch? Yeah. Why? Get the bad lands. But we want to hit lands. Maybe you do. I do. <clears throat> See, we got there. How did we get... But it's not our turn. It's still Sarah's turn. Where did this come from? What's going on? What the fuck? Why does she have three lands out? Is it going her turn, her turn, then our turn? What's going on? <laughs> what? Are you taking two turns? Like, why did we draw this? Oh, boy. Okay, let's see what happens at the end of this turn. What's going on right now? I don't know. I know as much as you do. Oh, look. It's our turn. Let's see if we get two turns. Oh, wait. Turn four. Me again. Wait, but why is it... No, but it's going... Wait. What? Hold on. End of combat. Main. Okay. Okay. Still the same turn, I guess. Why is it turn four? Then we've only been able to play two lands. Okay, she played a land. Turn five, Sarah. Okay, turn, turn five. Okay. Yep, that's totally reasonable. Turn five, Sarah. Okay. I guess we'll discard Kozilek? Yeah, sure. Shovels back in anyway. <laughs> I wonder how good we can do if our opponent gets two turns for every one turn we get. Is that what's going okay, on? Okay, next much? turn. Turn five. Well, this has been fantastic. They will only play a land again. Boy, you got some real problems. Oh, now it's our turn again. Okay, everything's ha All right, well. Is it coal? It's got to be coalition relic, right? Ob. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is she just going to play War and Power Stone and we can win? Well, it's going to take two turns, right? Uh, five, untap that. Yeah, you're right. So I guess we'll play Relic first. Frosty, the frost man was a very frosty boy. With a corn cob pipe and a button nose and might be every day. Well, so apparently our other opponent isn't playing the game. I don't, yeah, but they're not even, the turn isn't even going to them. I think they might have conceded. Twilight chooses Savannah returned as their commander. They mulligan to seven, mulligan to six, they mulligan to five. They kept, they now, they went to watch. Okay, so they're gone. I don't know what happened. I feel like she's just gonna flip this and then. I guess that doesn't. It's not terrible. I actually don't know who Twilight was. But they are a friend on here, so. This is so strange. Are they gonna flip this? Nickel. Nickel. Nichol Bolas? Alright, turn six, Sarah. You ready? Let's see if it goes to turn seven, Sarah. Oh, God. Nope. All right. I guess it's... I guess it corrected itself? One, two, three, four, five, six. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, uh, doesn't matter. Blue. One power stone. This guy. F6.
I have not tried Oathbreaker yet. I haven't even looked into it, actually. I'm pretty sure it has to do with my buddy John Medina. Frosty the Frostman, he's a very Michael B. He frost in the frost and the frost. He's a frost and a frosty, frosty me. <laughs> this is unfortunate. It is unfortunate. <laughs> Makes our combo harder, I think. Wait, we can just get a whole. We can steal it with the last one. That's true. Let's do that. I think we just win the game, right? Don't we win the game? I'm pretty sure we win the game. Is this? We're gonna. We're just gonna win the game now. This feels like we're winning the game. Probably make a bluesel. What? We want red. We only need red. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Untap the Warney boy. Don't you dare. <laughs> oh, wow. Remember that time Star got like four extra turns and we're just like. Oh, zealous conscript, dear. Yeah. As long as it's not Kiki Jiki, why not? What's the difference? Look at all, look at all those chickens. <laughs> Michael B, this is beautiful. Just beautiful. And our opponent got like two extra turns before us too. All right, let's do it again. I don't, I, I don't think we've seen enough to like. Oh God, oh God, no! Get out, get out! I need, I need to escape. Okay, I need to go. Leave event. Leave event. Leave. Close. Why is the join so much bigger than the create? Do you, look at look at the size of the uh, look at the size of, look at the amount of emphasis they put on join compared to to creating. Oh, look at all these people. Wait. Oh wait. Oh shit. What did you do? I didn't hit buddies only. I don't think so. I think I don't think I know these people. So now they're just going to bitch at us because we're playing this fucking degenerate tier one strategy and they're going to be like, there's a room for that, stupid. And I'm going to be like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I'm just going to feel terrible about it. I will. <laughs> the unwashed masses. <laughs> this sound seems good, right? Yeah. Do you like it, Michael? I do. So I'm like, why run Marchesa for a twin build? What's the argument over... Because it's not a twin build. It just has the twin combo in it. It just happened to has the, the twin combo in it. The reason I'm running Marchesa is for the uh, Death Throne ability through sneak attack. The what? The what ability? Death Throne. You mean Dethrone? Whatever. Whatever, man. If a source would deal damage to a co-creature, prevent X of that damage for X of the number of creatures you control. That basically says nothing. You say nothing. But it's Kemba. Only in Kemba. Remember that? No. <laughs> that startled me. I was like, oh, 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 Jesus. That's how I felt. I felt like I was, I didn't know what was happening. Oh, that was a good hit. We can play Power Stone here in Signa. Is that good? Oh, Power Stone. No, you can just no. play Power. You, I mean, I don't know if I never, I never want to just use this to play this, but maybe that's better. What's the middle commander? Riku of two reflections. Whenever you cast an instant or source from you pay, uh, is it? If you do copy that spell, you may choose new targets for the copy. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield, you may pay Simic. If you do, create a token. And it, he is a, they are a 2-2. Two -two. Michael. Oh, they are a 2-2. Two -two. Mm, indeed. Really? Hey, man. Yes, you know what's going to be good here? Yes, man. Vandal Blast. I cannot believe that you have done that. That's a good one. That's going to get blasted. 
I ain't gonna take no damage. Ain't nothing gonna hold me down. <laughs> Seems good. This is when they go Vandal Blast. I'm gonna be like, I'll Vandal Blast you, stupid idiot. <laughs> Vandal Blast is pretty rough for this deck, I'm not gonna lie. That's because you play like 19, uh... 17. Wow, I like that you knew exactly, like, actually it's 17. Aqua ducks. You ever seen any aqua ducks before? That's when the ducks are in the water. That's when the ducks are in the water? Yeah, that's when they're aqua Aren't ducks. Are they always in the ducks? Oh, they're, in the, they're always in the ducks. The ducks are always in the ducks. <laughs> it's a duck ducking. Guys, I got my knife back. Isn't that great news? Ooh, good old burl. <laughs> Aqueduct tails. Woo! -hoo. Kill Barack? What does that mean? I think, I think it means barrel. I think you do too. I'm like, Barack? That sounds... What you just asked me to do does not seem... Kill uh, Barack Obama. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh-uh. He's all we've got left. Autocorrect. Apparently my phone does not recognize Baral, but it does recognize the former president of the United States. Kemba. Only the pressure on. in Kemba. Are they? Are they no. an attack? No attack, Weird. huh? I actually like that a lot. Yeah, I'd probably jam the deck here. Maybe Signet, land, deck. Yeah. And then loot. Tackums, McFackums. I'll target myself. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Come on, dude. There's no way, right? We just discard the lands. Well, we, only, we don't we need, we need more red, though. Because uh... we want to have red, red. One red for this guy, and then we want to untap this. So we have three. We need red, three red Let's total. Let's get rid of Vandal Blast Martial Arts. Yeah, I like that. Oh my god, there's no way. There, there's no way we're just going to win the game on this. This is just too good, right? <laughs> like, there's no way you could just get away with free wins of Splinter Twin, like Zill's Con. Like, if, if everyone taps out, you just win, right? Uh huh. I don't understand. Oristic study. Okay. Okay. There's like a million things that could stop us. And how does they all tap out? <laughs> it happens all the time. Does it really? Is it that common in Commander? One record singleton. Win with twin twice in a row. Yeah, it feels bat feels Batman. I mean, I really like to show off the fatties. That's what I'm trying to do. But yeah, we're not trying to win a twin. But if it's there, they also polished and sharpened this, so now it smells like the oil. Can I get a whiff. Oh yeah, it's definitely oily. Let me let me get a whiff of that knife. Oh, oh, oh. Calm down, man. Oh. You got a whiff of that knife oil. Hunter's over here. He's like, what's going on? Imposing. Oh, damn it. What does that do? Hmm. That's a problem. That's not something that props can fix. See, look, they had a way to disrupt our combo. Is that CBD? This is a knife, man. Come on, Grandma. God, Grandma's losing it, man. She's just getting worse and worse. I'm putting your ears up, Hunter. Don't put his ears up. Why not? Because they need, he needs his ears. But it's cute. Ah, uh, he is. Hey, he doesn't need the ears. That would be cute. Are you boys getting high? <laughs> no, Grandma. Mind your business. Grandma, I'm on the phone. Grandma, get off the phone. Grandma, I'm talking. <laughs> oh. 
I'm on the internet, Grandma. It's not a phase, Mom. <laughs> Are we alive? This is great news. I love being alive. Ha 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 ha! Being alive, being alive. Let's loot. That's a good idea, man. You're so. Why aren't they attacking? I don't understand that. I don't know. Probably don't need that right now. Hey, man, I don't need that right now, man. They pitch that and blood crypt. Okie dokie. You're just passing here? Yeah. Fascinating. You need to find a way to kill that stupid 2 1. Is it 2 1? Yeah. Tell me more about it. We have one, two, oh, we three, should have played four, five, six, Oh, God. I, for, I totally forget there's, yeah, like, a so commander. I. I'm like, eh, hey, we're just playing a regular game. Why does it close? What does this do? Whenever a opponent discards a card, that player loses two life. At the beginning of the end step, if you attack with a creature, they discard a card. Okay. Seems good. God, Marchesa. 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 Do you like it when I do my Marchesa face? No. Okay. Mm -mm. Well, definitely not. I could. It's not a phase, Mom. Do you remember that? Do you remember it's not a phase, Mom? Oh, I do. <sighs> thank you. Shinal, thank you so much for Lisa, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. I guess we're gonna bad lands with this guy. You need to stop attacking my deck, Faden. Or volcanic. No, we probably want more black. I guess. You want more black? I guess. Got him. Man, how many answers do we have to this one imposing sovereign? I don't know, like seven. How many cards do we have that draw cards? Like eighty five. Well, I need I need one of the eighty five. I guess I'm not allowed having blue. Art. What? But you got a blue. What does that even mean? You got a blue right here. Looks like blue to me, dog. That's a blue for me, dog. What does this do? Susie Jenkins. Remember that? Remember that Susie Jenkins meme from a while back? No. You will. You will be. This is why I didn't like cutting reincarnating inside. It'd be such a good draw right now. Would it be? Yeah, because then they have seven and you're just like, broop, and the next turn you're like, broop again, and you double broop. Yeah, we should add it back in. What is this? Draw a card for an equipment and you just equip it for zero. If you got Metalcraft. Sure. Oh, you got them Swiftfoot boots. Booty tooties. Hey, man, you like my booty tooties? Yeah, man. Right on. Right on. Can you cast Vandal Blast? Can you overload uh, Vandal Blast from the graveyard? I don't know. I don't think so. <coughs> Michael, I hear the blues are calling. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. Is this for each? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's a big ass. That's a big ass Kemba. I'm tempted block to block it. Yeah, I'm yeah. tempted to block. I think we do. This is sorcery. Damn it. Pay one for Rhystic Study? For sure. I mean, we could actually hatred it, ironically. Oh, it comes with a light tap. This did nothing. Oh, for fuck. <laughs> God dang it. Whoops. Might as well kill one of their. Oh, we can't. It's sorcery. We can't do anything. This is terrible. I just wanted to draw my Dak Faden cards. Crack that fetch. I am cracking that fetch. Man. 
the best laid plans of mice and men. This game would be a lot different if we had to mark any of that. Would it be that much different? It'd be a little different. Jay Bellotta, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. You are a wonderful human being. I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have eleven mana, dude. Just gotta draw a fatty. No. Come on, one time. It's kind of a fatty. We can clever impersonator to this and then Vandal Blast. Killing what? All the artifacts. Oh, you can't overload from the yard. Dang it! Biscuits! Biscuits! Let's play more Jesus. Wait, what if we just Zealous Conscript steal this and then Splinter... Oh, it comes in a play tab. Fuck. Wait, can't we Zealous Conscript's target itself? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hmm. If we Zealous Conscript's and target itself, it's untapped. So we put the Splinter Twin on it. Uh huh. We make a copy. If that comes into play. Tapped. We steal this. Uh huh. And then. The Clover Impersonator? And that's we're two mana shy. Dang it. There's no way to do it, right? We're not am I missing something? I guess we could just wait for two lands. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we have 11 mana. Well, shoot. Shooty McTooties. Yeah, also we do need another red. Eh. That attack seemed pretty loose. Why? Well, we should have played Marchesa first. What do I think about Kessin Modern? I actually like Kessin Modern a lot. It's just a just a really efficient creature in the format. You think I should have played this first? <laughs> You're terrible. What? Use one of these calls, man. Come on. Come on, buddy. Everybody knew you were going to get the chicken. Could have had a counter on our guy. I know. You're right. We could have 3 2. Unbelievable. Hold on a second, guys. I had a protuberance in my nose, so I got rid of it. Oh no. That card's pretty annoying. I just got a YouTube comment on a video and it says, I don't like his son or whatever. It's probably one of the dumbest things you could say on, on the internet, I think. That's you, man. He doesn't like you, my son. Well, fuck you, Joseph C. Dale. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> How about it? Is Mike my son? Yeah, dude, for sure. Mike is my son. Uh, he was birthed when I was uh, six years old, I believe. Six or seven. And, uh, you know, we've uh, had a... I've been raising him ever since. Uh, it was not Kerwitz's account. No, unfortunately. I would not have been surprised, though, if someone was like, hey. Are they going to make three dudes? Jesus. This deck sucks. No, I'm just kidding. Wow. I'm not kidding. It's so terrible. It's so bad, dude. That's a little scary. Is it? This seems scarier than anything, right? It's only cast.
You're only cast. Dude, do you have like a lightning bolt in the deck? What? Do you, how many ways do you have to deal with this card? One, two, three, four, five. At least eight ways. Eight ways? Yeah. So what do we got? 82 cards? We got like a 1 in 10 chance? 10% 10 chance? Oh god. That seems scary. So this is going to get like plus 5, plus 5. Oh man. Don't forget the cards that you got off with Chase. What does that mean? With Marchesa? What's that? What are you saying right now, Travis? Hold on, I'll blow my nose. Okay, we're back. You could have gotten a removal spell from somebody else with it. What do you mean? This is... I don't think this is the same card you think it is. I guess we're taking nine here. Man, they're not fucking around anymore. Maybe she got the Vandal Blast. Seems a little cute. Seems a little niche. What about like Coligon's command instead? Vandal Blast is so much better. Killing all the artifacts with three mana, it's pretty good. You know what else is pretty good? It's also only your opponent's artifacts, so. Buddy, I know how overload works. You're not my overload daddy. What if I was? Overload Daddy confirmed. That could do it. I don't think we have enough red. We untap one of the reds. We go Zealous Conscripts, we untap a red. We put Splinter Twin on the Zealous Conscripts. No, nope, that doesn't work. Fudge. Fudgy McMudgy. <gasps> we don't have green. Shoot. I got real excited. <laughs> Did you like that? Did you like that? Okay. Can we do it? Zealous Conscripts steal the imposing saw. So I think we can just win right here, right? I could be wrong. I think you are. You can probably pitch the Coven Boss in here, right? Oh, we need both these cards, though. We just need him. Oh, we can just say no. Never mind. I'll just say no. That's fine. No. No. Okay, this comes down. Steal this. Okay. Um. Oh God, it had to be. Nope, I think I was wrong. Yeah. It was close though. Because like we can make a copy of this. Well, you can't put twenty on it. Right, because they're one red away, right? No, because it, it'll die. Right, we can't put a twin on this, but like if we made a copy of this to untap it, then we can put a twin on this one, but we're one red away. We literally have one, two, three, four, five, six mana, so we could actually go image, copy this, 
untap itself splinter twin on this but we're one we're literally one red low yeah that's what i thought oh is that if we untap a red source then we actually don't have an untapped zealous conscripts to equip yeah it doesn't work might as well attack with it though with the imposing sovereign yeah yeah that doesn't do anything if it dies it comes back on our side if he dies he dies attack the white player the white player yeah what does that do if it dies we get it back do we really oh no they don't have the lowest life total never mind doesn't work yeah the only gets gotta be attack the guy with playing brawl hmm. plus the guy with the brawl will block it so it gets it off the board Fantastical image. Can we fantastical image something? We can. All right, I'm just gonna go to the next one then. All right. Yeah, but also Sarah has ten cards in hand, and we just. Uh... Oh, they just get the counter automatically? Yeah. Oh, I thought they had to connect. Nope. That's fascinating. But this guy just goes back to them, right? Now it does. Now it does. Snarf. <laughs> do, 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 do. Well, that turn was sadder than I thought it would be. Oh, shoot. It's well, fine. that's totally fine by me. But we lose our Dallas conscripts. It's fine. We got we got other stuff to do. And our Marchie. Why does that live? Oh, didn't deal enough damage. Hmm. <sighs> that's awkward. That is awkward. Wait, but doesn't the Marchesa trigger? Whenever creature controls the plus one counter dies for so we get back we get back imposing sovereign and we get back the other dude. Why? Marchesa is not in play. But it already it still triggers. Hmm. Okay. I don't know why the other one didn't trigger, but I have the never ending story stuck in my head. Whenever each player or other discards a card, you draw a card for each card discarded this way. Wow. You're a monster. This is like this is the card where you're like, I don't want to play one v one. Let's play let's play a four player game. Well you're an image, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Oh god. We're also going to take another damage from this Mana Vault. This, and then, then oh, we can untap it. And then Kemba's going to deal us nine. We're basically dead. Might as well. Oh, well, we can't. Still can't. <laughs> still still sorcery. I wish we had a blocker. Yeah, thank goodness. Only in Kemba. It's like that Kenya song. Remember that one? Kenya, only in Kenya. But it's really only in Kemba. I know what you're talking about. You don't? You don't know the Kenya song? No. Where'd you go? Away. Let me see that stack of cards over there. This one? Nope. Yep. Look at this by you. Ooh. So fancy. I'm going to start using the uh, the store credit I get from Cool Stuff. To start picking up some dual lands when I can. I got a little bayou here. I feel like we're not doing very well, I'm going to be honest with you. And I really need like a treasure cruise or something. You, get, some gas. you even have that card in here? 
Yeah, boy. You got dig through time? Yeah. I'm out of drink. My kingdom for a dig through time. My kingdom for Michael's dig through time. Man, do you have Rustic Study in here? Hmm. Why not? Seems pretty good. It's okay. It's one of the best commander cards, right? It's all right. That's not, you're not, you're just literally avoiding answering my question. Look at this, make like five guys. Four, I guess. Jesus. Didn't you laugh at Kemba? Weren't you like, ho, 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 Kemba? It's not really that good. It's not that what? It's not that good. Just block it, whatever. Who cares? How many turns do you think we can block it when we got these two shitbirds in hand? I want to use Wrath. <laughs> oh, they're not going to us this time. Nice. Fools. Fools. <laughs> Rustic Study is the best card I have to judge from on paper. What, did they, what does the judge promo go for? It's got to be like $900, right? I like it. I just like Necrophotons better. I have the ju oh it's a hundred bones. What did you say? I like necropotence better. Necropotence, guys. I have a ten dollar bill on my desk. Cool story. I mean, I don't want to brag, but I'm kind of a big deal. They don't even. They had no idea. Humble brag stream, guys. This card seems scary, right? No, nah, never mind. I mean, it's pretty good. Oh, it's because it gives all attacking creatures? Yeah, it's basically... Uh... Do we untap this or just take one? I think we untap it. We can't really do much else, though. Yeah, I guess we could take one. Should have untapped it. What a sucker we are. You fools. Make a copy of that angel. You're saying I should send you an angel? Yeah, send us an angel right now. Right, right now. I want it right now. It's my angel and I want it now. Or maybe just flip on Marchesa. I could see that too. Honestly, I don't think we're doing very well either way. So one, two, three, four. We could splinter to Marchesa. We could. Discard a card for Painful Quandary. Discard Splinter Twin. I don't even know why I pay one. It's like, now you only get to go to eight cards and nine cards instead. A $10 bill and a knife don't fly too close to the sun. Yeah, it's getting really heavy up in here. Look at this. If I was doing like some kind of wrapper like... Like humble brag, I'd be like, <laughs> got a knife, a ten dollar bill, and a bayou. Unbelievable! This guy's like, this guy's living his best life right here. Money, motherfucker. Hero's downfall. Who's it killing? The angel. That's a good choice. Hey, that's a good choice. Eight days. Solid choice. You should do the rest of the stream with a Japanese accent. Me? Yeah. Mm, no. That's good because it would have come across very racist. draw here. Dig through time. I think that's our best draw. I think it's probably the best draw. What about Ancestral Recall? That's not legal. Hmm. But in the future. Mike would have to be pacing behind you just yelling things like, Bob Bobers, yeah, onions, uh-huh. What? Wait, what? Is that if is that if we were doing like a rap video? What up? What up? Yeah. All right. Nice. I figured it out. Nailed it. But 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 Bobers. Hey man, how's Bortina doing? By the way, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Have you talked to Mister Howie? Hungry Howie. 
See, this is why we gotta add reoccurring inside back. He here. likes your Moxie. Why? Because we might just draw it this one time. He'd be like the best draw on a deck. Outside of Dictor time, maybe. But literally only because Sarah has seven cards. Zion has one, and Susie has zero. So it's like... You only need one target, bro. I guess. I guess. How's your gum? I guess. Pretty flavorless. Gross. I said, I said good day, sir. I'm just gonna draw a fatty. Which cast is fatty? Is that gonna really get us out of this, though? If it's fat enough. <laughs> what if it's just medium fatness? Then maybe not. Is this each opponent, too? Each opponent. Each opponent. Ugh, so many things. This whole format is just everything targeting everyone. Do you think the six mana Shonda in the new course will make a difference against Esper Control? Yes, it seems very, very good. You immediately get an emblem and she goes to eight and she can't be countered. She's pretty nuts. And then, like, if you get two emblems down, like, I think the inevitability that presents is pretty, pretty gross. Yeah, it's pretty insane. Can we play Kess in a league? Uh, Commander? Or Modern? Modern, I would love to, Sarah. And I still have your deck to play, so if you want to update it or change it, I, that's more than more than totally fine. Which is probably super obvious. I would love to play Kess in Modern, yeah. That sounds like gas. We could also put Dreadhorde Arcanist in there. You could have four Dreadhorde Arcanist, four Snapcaster, and four Kess. And then you're just like... What does Kess do? Uh, it's like the Snapcast you get to do on every turn. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Kess specifically says... During each of your turns... And it's a 3-4 flyer for 4, which is just a, a fine fine body of modern. Dodges lightning bolt. It You have to trigger a fatal, fatal push. During each of your turns, you may cast an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. If a card cast this way, it would be put in the graveyard exile instead. So it's just like every single turn, you get, you get to... Uh, Snapcaster. I actually do not know when the next cube is because this one just ended, so it's usually. We probably won't know for a little bit, but. What's going on right now? Yeah, you don't have to target. You can actually just choose one, whatever card you want. So if your opponent plays something and you have Mana Leak and Cryptic Command, you can just be like, eh, I'll choose Cryptic Command here. Eh, I'll choose Mana Leak here. Hey, man, are you sad there's no mental misstep in the uh, Modern Horizons? No. Okay. Who cares about that card? Well, Force of Will. You wish there was Force of Will? No, they got the new, the new Force of Will. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. It's called Force of Negation. <laughs> what a dummy. This time they're leaving the, the big boy back? No. Okay. Ten, the 10-10? Ten, ten? Probably not. Seems unlikely. Um. Well, I guess we just take the 10. No way. Really? We can't afford to with the with the opulence and all that crap. Oh, Sorry, God, you're right. Block sure. The opulence? None of these cards are called opulence. Whatever it's called. Now. Painful Quandary and Raider's Wake are the cards. I don't even know where you got Opulence from. Can't take no 10. What, are you crazy? I was thinking going to... I mean, we go to 4 and we go to 20 Planeswalker damage, so it's like... Or 19. So, like, we'd, we'd survive on both metrics. I just forgot the, uh... <laughs> this nonsense. Plus, there's the... Goblin Spark Mage out. Goblin... Whatever Mage. Are you drunk? Yes. Sick. No, I'm not sick. I'm just drunk. Drunk. Oh, we also go to 13 here? Jesus. You can untap it. <sighs> right, but then we don't do anything is our problem. 
Yeah, we're probably not going to do anything anyway. No, we're going to play this land. Well, that's some stuff, isn't it? Do this, do this. I don't know if I even like Snapcaster. It doesn't seem that good here. You don't have a ton of things to copy. Uh, should we concede? Yeah, we're pretty much dead. All right. I'll let these two play it out. And I wish I could get rid of my board. Only in Kenya. You don't know that song? You don't know that old meme? No. Only in Kenya. One day you'll know. Look, there's Spark Double. I could have showed you that. Idiot. <laughs> you fool. <sighs> We're going to have to stay for the rest of the game, right? I don't know how this works. Are you sure you want to concede? Yes. Okay. Let's create one more. Hold on the side of the deck. Oh, I think I clicked that last time, too. Okay, so let's go to... Okay, so we take... You might be right about Snapcaster. Oh, let's re-put in Recurring Insight. That's good. This is a Mythic. No, this is a Rare? Was this not a Mythic? I thought that was a Mythic when it came out. Is there anything else we didn't like? Um, Anything we didn't like? Not really. I think the mana base needs to be updated a little bit. You might want more red. Yeah, I agree with that. Do you have a no reflecting pool? We could add that. Try an island for that. What is the Grixis land? That just adds all of the Grixis. Yeah, I'm gonna play tap though. I'm not interested in that. <laughs> I'm not really interested. Uh, you got Bloodstained Mire. You got Flooded Strand. I assume you have them all. Yeah, all the fetches. Yeah. Meh. Meh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Crying out loud. Um. What are what are good lands? We could play the blue red pain land too, but I don't want to get rid of too many basics because we only have four, five, six, seven basics. Exotic orchard could be good. Swan song is interesting. Yeah, encounters anything that's relevant. You really like Vandal Blast, huh? Yeah. Why yeah. would you rather play over it? Look at that beauty. <laughs> I don't know. Are you like Coligan's command better? I do like Coligan's command a lot because it gets it also gets back like Zealous Conscripts or Kiki Jiki if they die. Yeah, but getting, being able to kill all the artifacts is really good. What if we cut? What if we got one of these? We could probably cut one of these mana rocks. Yeah, we didn't feel too light. Like we didn't feel like we. We're losing, like, the mana seemed fine, right? Outside of the color. I felt like we had too many, like, we drew too much mana. What's the worst one? Felwar Stone or... Probably. Also, you got a new talisman now. You got, a, uh, You got the Izzet talisman. Oh, well, they should probably go in here, right? You got Rakdos, Izzet, and Demir Signets. And now you have, like, the three talismans, too. Are the talismans just better than... They're the same thing, right? Essentially, yeah. I mean, if you want the color, you're going to pay for it, but like... Right, which is the same thing as the other ones, so there's no real reason to change, right? Except for there's the Izzet one. Izzet might be better than Rakdos. Yeah. I well, see that. it might be better than the Dominance one because you want more red, but I don't know. Like, you have a lot of blue-black here, too. We just happen to see both of these in every game. What was the card we were going to add? We already added it. Recurring Insight. No, the other card. We were just Coligon's Command. Wanna try it like this? Well, that's oh wait, isn't that too many? It's ninety nine. We took out uh we took out one mana rock, we took out Felwar Stone, and we took out uh Snapcaster, and we added Coligon's command and recurring insight. Okay, sure. And then we also fixed the land. Crumbling Necropolis is good. I Mike it comes in to play tap though, so he's not uh only buddies can join. Only buddies. So if you guys are my buddies. Feel free my to and me. message me on Magic Online and I will add you. My team just lost the Stanley Cup final, so I decided to join you while also getting drunk. Reese, if so sorry, buddy. I'm going to get some more water. Okay. I'll be right back. I'll see you later.
He didn't even ask if I wanted a refill. Unbelievable. Did you want a refill? Yeah, I'd love one, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, a little bit. Not a lot. I'm not your buddy guy. I'm not your guy, pal. Getting ready to play some World of Warcraft while listening to Frank's show. What a great night. Nice. Nice. World of Warcraft. By Blizzard Entertainment. Once there was a world made of Warcrafts. That's me narrating World of Warcraft. And... Alright, this will this will do. We'll do this 3. We'll do this, this 3v. 3v? 3v3? That doesn't make any sense. My team just won the Stanley Cup final, so I decided to join you sober. Yikes. Hadn't played in like two years. Got a newish PC, and my brother had to get me. But yep, this. I mean, it's definitely a great time. If you're a WoW player, it's definitely a good time to be playing. So. I am losing to Kemba. Yeah, Kemba ain't no joke. Ooh. You just made it. Thanks, Moochel. You kept this? No. What are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Let me get a squirt, bro. You got, you got these three. I gotta go to I gotta Walmart and get some more. I'm running out of water enhancers. Cherry limeade. Blue raspberry. It's pronounced rasp. And green thunder. What the fuck is green thunder? Oh god. Hello, I decided to bring my casual deck against you nerds. Yikes. Uh, if well, we can, this is good. If we can hit a land, I think it's fine. And it is. Do we get to? You don't get to scry though, do you? No. You get to draw on your first turn though, so that's basically scrying, right? Yeah, man. How many squirts? I mean, I feel like you should know. I put in three. Jesus, that's gonna be. I think that's gonna be real strong, but we'll see. I like it when Mike mixes his drink with his finger. You can always tell he's a true goddamn savage. No, it's delicious. We didn't draw land yet. Oof. Brown oof. And you're gonna say that? <sighs> Only in Kemba. I would actually play that song if I didn't think it was, uh, you know. Only in Kemba? Alexa, stop. Why did she? That's so weird, man. Hunter fart? That was terrible. It's probably you. Wow. Got him! Did Michael fart? That sounds. Some playing Kess. Yeah, we got a Kess over here, and then a Myael. Hope it's not Kess High Tide. Myael, 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 Myael. Please stop. Okay. We need Rob to just squirt the meal right into his mouth. I could have done that. I could have just squirted it in your mouth, my dude. Wow. Oh, Michael. Well, I know we can pitch here. Probably cause looks. You think so? It's just gonna merge into drama again next turn. Why does your deck suck? <laughs> Unbelievable. Put more lands in this thing. We got plenty of lands. Do we? Yeah, you got a uh, let's see, 20 out of 91. Is tomorrow Thursday already? Holy yeah. smokes, man. Where's this, where'd this week go, dude? 
It went up your spicy bee. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. Soul ring. You got a soul ring in here? What, are you crazy? Good, good man. Good man. Sometimes you forget. That'd be a good draw. That'd be a great draw. We're not going to do it, but it'd be still be good, you know? Don't be hating. They hate us because they ain't us. <laughs> Hate us because they ain't us. Where's my glasses at, man? Don't do that, Dalton. <laughs> You're not a confused dog. I <laughs> uh, got that gruel turf. Here we are with one swamp. Island. <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible, man. Wow, the timing on that was fucking gorgeous. Can someone clip that? That was just... God, that was beautiful. I'm going to discard this kakush. The kakush? You want to keep the kakush? No, that's probably correct. Or we can get rid of Cyclonic Rift. We can get rid of Lightning Reeves. I don't think I give a shit about Lightning Reeves. Yeah, that's fine. Well, it's... E mm. You're probably right. I know. They hate us because they ain't us. They hate us because they ain't us? They hate us because they ain't us. Right. That's right. Oh no. I don't like that one. No one does. I'm all out of mics. <laughs> it's okay, she's only a three, she's basically dead. I don't see any problem. Hate us because they ain't us. Yeah. Can I shave you with this? No. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six mana, huh? Must be nice. Oh, man. Never seen anything like it. Let me get that soul ring or that mana crypt. Mana crypt would be sick. I could just be like boop boop boop. Boop boop boop. And you can do. Shave that boy. <laughs> Alright, bring it in. <laughs> Come on, man. You gotta trust. I trust nothing. You want me to get some shave butter out? Yeah, man. Get the shave butter. Well, I'm jealous. Are you jealous? Uh, the cultivate? Yeah. Must be nice. I like them so much I threw it in the garbage can. Wow, people th they're throwing their lands in the trash. Unbelievable. That's messed up. Yeah, put it in your eye. I don't want to do that. You can't make me. Rich get richer, am I right? <laughs> Come on, Mana Vault. Mana Crypt. Man, oh man. Any piece of mana. That was a good one. We're back in the game, boys. We are definitely back in the game, boys. Don't okay, count this. Don't mental mess up me, bro. <laughs> Come on, my dude. <laughs> Put in the chat, who plays Mental Misstep? <sighs> That's only purpose it is in Commander is to, is to counter a Soul Ring. Otherwise, it's utterly useless.
Scoob GTFO, track them down and murder them. <laughs> Dear God. Do you remember that time we almost had it all? No. Me neither. Feels Batman. Definitely feels Batman. Should have been playing Mental Mist up in here just to get them back. <laughs> Mental Mist up your faithless looting. <sighs> I need to. I need to. I need to take a break for a second. In tomb, eh? All day in tomb. Kiki Jiki. Kiki Jiki. <laughs> Keep saying it. Kiki. Womp, womp, womp. Well, this is a close game. I don't believe that's true. Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? Alright, we're doing one more. Nope, don't join. Cancel. Create it. <coughs> Remember the time we had one land and then uh, he mental misstepped our soul ring that we dropped? Do you remember that, yeah? Do you remember how bad that was for us? It was pretty bad. It didn't feel good. I had path in hand with a one white man up, but then you let them tap your play. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Play Lord Windgrace and Seismic Assault and Ursic. What's Ursic Assault? Is that bears? Just watching your Modern Horizons 1 draft number 2 with Rob. Did you go to FNM? What did you play? How did it go? I played Girls Super Friends and wasn't impressed minus this. So I played... Uh, I played the five-color Nymph Mizzet deck, actually. I went 2-1. Only five people showed up for that FNM, which is pretty rough. Yikes. Elk Tears, my man. What's going on, my dude? Is this real life? Is this just fantasy? Are we caught in a landslide? Doesn't feel like there's any escape from reality. You guys need to join our commander game. And if you don't, I'll put a jihad on you. <laughs> wow. That's right. And if you don't, if you don't believe me, hey man, what's your favorite Fallout game? Did we talk about this? Favorite Fallout game? You ever play one and two? You ever play Fallout one and two? Briefly. Two is fantastic. The pace is a lot slower now because it's just a different game. The pace is a lot slower It hurts so bad. <laughs> I mean, we basically didn't even... Last game wasn't even really a game. We didn't even get to play. Yeah, we didn't really play. Oh, yeah. This is a hand. This is a sneaker and a keeper. <laughs> and a McBleeper. I will keep them as McMeebums. 
Isn't it past Mike's bedtime? I was just about to throw up yesterday's stream, but you're live now. I don't know what to do. Chap, help. Chap? Chap, I need some help, chap. Chappy. Keep a hand with two lands. Done. I'll kill you. Meant to say, <laughs> chap helt. Chap helt. Chat helt. Okay, so I was close. I was close. The water tastes like candy. I was gonna, I was gonna be like, your mother tastes like candy. Wow. But that's probably not stream appropriate at all. And then pop out your opponent. What are you doing? Hey, explain, uh, explain this deck to Elk Tears as if as if he was five years old. Did you see this speedrunner? We'd follow one, two, three, New Vegas, and four in an hour and a half. What? Absolutely no, right? That's not possible. All four games in an hour and a half. Five games. Oof. How is that real? Oh my god, I'm totally... I'm totally watching this now. Well, probably not now. Well, yes, no, I meant now as in like... You know what? Shut up. You have 1,500 hours in New Vegas and you haven't been it? New Vegas is so good. It's one. It's, I think it's my favorite... Uh, I think it's my favorite... Fun. Yes. Yes, I've seen three the three Chandras. Do you guys say Chandra or Chandra? It's definitely Chandra, right? Yeah, I think it's Chandra. Picking a side is rough. Save it right before you have to. And then just pick them all. Like like Pokemans. Yo, what's Dark Edition? Oh, we, we don't have double black. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Yeah, your, your mana base sucks, man. It might be a little rough. You might want a sunken ruins. What's that? It's the filter land where you can tap it for double blue, double black, or blue black. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm real tired for some reason, guys. I had such a hard time getting into New Vegas because of the aesthetics. It's too red. I but I, I love the music of New Vegas, and I also love the environment of New Vegas. Didn't someone want to take from Hard Sea? I don't like Ch like Chandra. I don't think so. It's past Michael's bedtime. Our bedtime's fine. Between you and Mike, whose mom tastes more like... Wow. <laughs> no. Not okay. Let's get an underground C. Underground C? No. Oh, I hit the wrong friggin' button. That's... Well, that's game losing. That's terrible. Yeah, I was gonna play this. Play that. Yep, that's terrible. I was a misclick. Oh, boy. Something that would never happen in real life. I'm just here for the possible Horizons draft at the end. Me too. Do you need more lands? Is 20... This seems low, right? Maybe. I feel like you want more lands and fewer of the rocks. I want more lands and just more lands. Because <laughs> the only reason we're not... We're just not doing anything because we just don't hit lands. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, twenty nine seems low when like thirty four, thirty five is is usually their their common your common amount, you know. 
This is weird for you because you're always advocating for more lands. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Yes, you do, you stupid Mitch. You like this thing I'm doing? Shut up and take no. my money. Mike's mom, I definitely taste more like candy. Give me a lick, cutie pie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no. No. None of that is okay. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> I guess we're just doing it now. Okay, pay the extra mana. That's good. What extra mana? Oh, you mean I tapped yeah. it? <laughs> Whatever, man. Choose an opponent. Uh, I'll choose this one because I think this one will probably be less. Snap taking the lands. No, it wouldn't get countered because they don't have. They can't mental misstep it. I got to play with pernicious dude today in arena. You seen him around? Yeah, I always see him around. That dude's here all the time. Pernicious dude is a good dude. Yeah, 29 lands seems super greedy. In a 100 card deck, you're playing 29 lands. That's the equivalent of playing like 19 or 20 lands in your standard deck. I'm going to take this one. Snap taking this one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now we just discard Ulamog. Why? Because we have to discard something. Discard hatred. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Shut up and take my money. Frank's mom. Um, excuse me, hun, but nothing tastes sweeter than me. I'm basically Willy Wonka. Give me a sample stud muffin. Dear God. <laughs> Dear Jesus. Oh my god. Dear God. Dear Jesus. I'm so uncomfortable with everything that's transpiring here today. Are you going to scry two or what, Michael? I scry two every day. Do you? Donut? Donut? Bonut? You doing okay? Yeah, something like that, Moon Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. This is one fierce empath. Michael B is in. It's too many. It's three too many moon people. What's your moon people limit? Push it to your moon people limit. 
This is not gonna. This is what five or seven? One, two, three, so one away. So one, two, three, four, five mana next turn. I hate untapping this because that's just our whole turn. That's rude. Do we just untap this? I feel like we don't, right? No, let it go. Just want to let it go? Let it go. I knew you were going to do it. I knew you were going to do it. Man, imagine if we had Underground Sea here. I don't have to imagine. I lived it. Because then we can cast all of our double black things. I don't know what to do. I don't know if to untap this or not. I feel like I kind of want to, but... I think we untap it. I don't think we're going to be doing anything this turn. Do I come to play tapped? No. We'll just play it anyway, right? Okay. We did it. This is the one thing I hate about this because it just feels like your turn. It's like you time walk. It's basically time vault where you're like, I'll skip my next turn so you can take an extra one. Yeah, but it's still worth. Is it? Mm-hmm. Where's Mike's matching bodysuit? Uh, it's in the dry cleaner. <laughs> Just now. Just stop. It's bad. Please stop it. It's terrible. <laughs> oh, Vandal Blast. That's fun. I'm having a good time. Well, we should, yeah, do that. This is my first time ever casting this card. It feels pretty alright, actually. <clears throat> I mean, getting rid of this and the other thing saves us four mana, which is pretty good. Does <laughs> Mike's bodysuit have the nipples cut out? <laughs> wow. Oh, one can only hope, my dude. One can only hope. Hey, Michael. <gasps> let's see your let's see your bodies <laughs> oh I can't I just don't have it in me let's see your body uh well next turn we can cast Ulamog so that's pretty good if Mike was wearing his green suit green body suit he would totally be called green thunder we could just call him that anyway what did you say so we can cast Ulamog next turn I want you to stop stop <laughs> let's look at all this mana we have one two three four five six seven eight we have nine ten mana mm -hmm. yes utamog time this feels right right 100 percent. what do we get exile in here uh, My man. I just want to take out his lands, to be honest yeah. with you. Let's get rid of these two black sources. You brought this on yourself. Frank's looking at a weak character. I think they're called a me. Yeah, they're called me's. Hashtag order Mike a bodysuit. Michael, why don't you have a bodysuit? I already have a bodysuit. Do you? Yeah. You have a bodysuit? Yeah. Why don't you wear it? Go put your bodysuit on, Michael. Body massage machine. Go. <laughs> Chain of vapor. Alright. I'll just do it again. I don't even care. I don't even care, bro. Please stop. I'm begging you. <laughs> Everything I have. <sighs> you gone off the off the deep end there. You gone off the green screen. This hunter messed it up. Oh no, that was you messed it up. That was me, my dude. You guys come for the, the magic, but then you stay for the avant garde behavior. Man, this just means we get to do it again. 
and you can do whatever you like. So now do we untap again? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana if we don't. We just play R Rune Scar Demon. Rooney Tuny. Get a sack of Rooney. <laughs> or we can play Marchesa and then put a counter on her. Mm, red, blue, black, colorless. That seems less exciting. Really? Then she'll never die. Goonies never say die, Michael. Have you seen the Goonies? Of course. You can't say of course. You've never seen Bill and Ted. <laughs> Well, I have seen the Goonies, so... Fuck off. That's rude. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, crying out loud, man. Oh, you and Chris... You and Chris, you and... You were like, you were like the empty Mike B, yeah. Whenever an opponent draws a card, you may pay one. It's like a reverse heuristic study. I can feel my beard here is coming through. <laughs> Stop rubbing yourself. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. Let's just take one. Do it with the tiny hands for full meme value? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you proud of yourself? You shouldn't be. It's really hard to say sometimes. It's real touch and go, man. <laughs> It's a real, it's a real to-do. Every day, I wake up. Before I go, go. Yes. Why are you like... <laughs> is this where you imagine your life going? I can't say it is. Alright, what do we got here? Cap size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana. It's just Rooney. Rooney Tuner, right? Yeah, Rooney Tuning, Rushed and Fruity. Rushed and Fruity? Mm hmm Hmm. What's your favorite animal, Michael? Not you. <laughs> <laughs> what are we getting? What do you want to get? I don't know. You can get anything. You can get whatever you like. You get to pick. I'm going to let you pick. I'd give anything to stop you from doing that. <laughs> Anything? Just about anything. Wow, that's fantastic. We could sneak attack here. Ooh, we can split it from the demon. Sneak attack? Yeah. A sneak attack? Do we have nine mana next turn? That'd be gas. Because then we can go sneak attack, Marchesa, and then sneak attack. We are so short on red, though. Yes. Maybe we should get a red source. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't need it. We kind of do. No, we don't. We could actually get Dak and then steal this Mind's Eye. Ooh, that's good. I like that. Yeah, let's do that. You can deck whatever you like. Did you know that I can feel my beard hairs coming through this? Do you know I hate you? I didn't know that, actually. Would you like to talk about it? No. I would You would? I would not. I wouldn't. Wood ant. You know those woods? Ant. <laughs> Please stop him. What am I? What do you? What do you need me to stop? Just everything. I thought we were having a good time. We're not. Can't we be friends? No. I hate you. I want to be your friend. 
Also, you guys have Kerwit to thank for all this bullshit. Kerwit bought this, and he bought these glasses. I'm like Eric Andre, and Kerwit is like the director of the Eric Andre show. Or the writer, I guess. That's my that's my comparison. It is a dimension as vast as space and as time as in, and timeless as infinity. It is the middle it is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the Twilight Zone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make gizzies. <laughs> it was mostly like a little bird beak thing that we did there. Oh, whatever it was, I didn't like it. Oh, I didn't like it. I feel like Ben's turns have been worse since we took away all those black sources. What did Conan ruin get? Conan Groon get? What did Conan of ruin get? I don't know, man. Who cares? We do. Okay. Uh, it got a world breaker. A oh, world breaker, creep on rolling, Mississippi moon, Won't you keep on breaking on me. Keep on breaking on me. Everything gonna break all right. Do you uh, think that you're not wearing your glasses because uh, I am being excess excessively weird and that you feel like you have to keep the status quo by? I think so, yeah. Okay. Accept. Buddy, I don't care if you accept or not. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Three, four. Let's take that mind's eye, boy. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it! Take it faster. You take it faster. Duck. Duck faded. Do hust. Remember that song? Do host Oh my god, my, my beard is so itchy right now. It's unbelievable. You ever had an itchy beard? You ever you ever been called it? You ever had a? Uh, you ever been itchy? You ever been? One, two, three. We got four mana. Dude, your deck needs more red mana for sure. How does I do it? Do we just capsize something? No. Are you crazy? I am a little crazy. I am a little crazy. Just play that. Why do people keep saying thanks for the invite to my beautiful people post? Oh, that's a that's a Legion Games thing. That's a Legion Games meme that we do. Whenever someone's like, whenever Mike or like Sal or any of those guys is like, hey, I'm just gonna go get some going out to dinner with my buds. Like it's a joke to make a meme. It's just it's just a meme to be like, thanks for the invite. Make sure you attack. Of course I'll. T well, we want to protect our deck, don't we? No. Okay. Okay. That's for stupid idiots. Anytime you want to stop would be great. <laughs> Anytime. I just wanted to make sure you noticed Anytime me. Anytime at all. I wanted you to acknowledge me. Look, we got them swift foot boots. Gamble. Oh, we're gambling. So it's going to be five cards in hand? Well, then it's going to go back down to four. I am a Legion Games memer now. Yeah, I think so. I think once you get once you get the thanks for the invite, you're you're in. For the next hour, sit quietly and we will control all that you oh, we're still doing oh, we're still doing uh doing spooky TV show introductions. You think Exum was the card they searched for? Probably not, because there's no creatures in the graveyard. Lucky Who's your favorite uh, Napoleon Dynamite character? Jimbo Baggins. That's not... That's You're thinking of Redneck Lord of the Rings. Oh, my bad. Probably Tina, then. <laughs> Tina's the fucking llama. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> she, 
Did you even, think I know that? She didn't even eat her ham. You didn't eat your ham. Is that not the line? I don't think that's the line. Something like that. Yeah, that's what we want to be. <laughs> Would you say that's what father likes? No. No. I'm something of a... I'm something of a scientist myself. Uh-huh. Michael, did you know that in space no one can hear you scream? Did you know in mutual no one can hear you mutual? <laughs> In Moochel? Yeah. So in yourself, no one can hear you Moochel? Exactly. If you screamed in space, it would sound like this. Ooh, that's a mean one. This one? Yeah. Yeah, it just has a Nihilator too. <laughs> Why don't they just call it what it is? Quit playing around, Bane of Balagid. Oh, that was in this deck before. I took it out, though. Beard is so itchy. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I see what you're doing, but I don't like it. <laughs> Declare blockers. Now you're me, Michael. I don't have any blockers. I don't have any blue blockers. Is he at 19? God, he's basically dead. Yeah, it exiles, not sacrifice. I get it. That's done. That's, that's it's still just annihilator. Even flow. <laughs> this is amazing. Michael be like a butterflies. What do we got? One, two, three, Don't four, pay. five. No, we're not going to pay. We're going to Cyclonic Rift. How do you feel about that? Seems accurate. Did, 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 would you say it seems did, 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 dece? Yeah, it's all right. Okay. Really, I love the pininess of them. What are we talking about? Shut up. Oh, we're talking about IPAs, I guess. Okay. Ipas. This is, is this trigger? Well, uh, yeah. All right. We could, all, we could also, we could also petish. You like a good petish? I love to petish. <laughs> Dish out the petish, bish. Petish, bish. Remember that song? No. You will. You'll remember, Michael. Wait, now we can't Cyclonic Rift. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have six mana. Yeah, we can. We just get a Soul Ring. Dummy. You ready for it? Are you ready, Boots? Yes. Mike B was made for walking. Don't misclick, bro. And that's just what he'll do. Shit, Mana Crypt. One of these days, these Michael Bs will walk all over. Why wouldn't I get Sol Ring, though? Sol Ring does the same exact thing, except we don't have to deal with the damage. Are you sure? Three minus three. One, two, three, four. Five, we have three, four, five, yeah, you're six. Right. Yeah, get and then, Sol Ring, then. Yeah. Yeah, see? It's only cost one. To, that's unbelievable. Yeah, it's an instant, too? Mother of God. Who makes these cards, man? We're going to get mental misstep again. He's going to mental misstep it again. Oh my God, really? Was he just trolling? Can I get a whoop, 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 whoop? Probably has a stupid counter spell. He would. He didn't. No. Out, am I? Hey. Yeah? I've got a secret for you. Okay, tell me. No. It's not a good secret. Is it? 
Is this a group of fandoms or fandoms? What does that even mean? Okay, this might have to... Might have to go. My, my brain, my face is just like getting so itchy. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph Christ. <laughs> you think their names, their last names were Christ? <laughs> yeah. You think they were Jesus Christ, Mary Christ, and Joseph Christ? Yeah. <laughs> like the Like there was a sitcom called The Christ's? Oh man, God, my face was so itchy, dude. That was unbelievable. Oh God. I feel like a new man now. It was a good ponder. Was it? What's your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant? Yeah, boy. Either the Korean place or Texas Day Brazil. What's the Korean place? One family. We've never gone there other than with Gary. Well, I haven't. I've never gone. Because you're weird. You can't eat Korean food. It's because they use a bunch of weird meats, man. Look, man, the, the, the spicy chicken is delicious. It's just a plate of onions and spicy chicken. Hmm. Tell me more. It's like served on his hot skillet. It's like fajitas. Yeah, it's delicious. I'll just get fajitas, man. Because it's better than fajitas, you so, stupid Mitch. It's aggressive. Yeah. Also, it's pretty low. It's low? It's pretty low, yeah. What does that mean? Like Shorty got low? Yeah, like Shorty got low. That makes sense. I understand. Michael got low, low, low. Did you guys see Michael get low? Is this one Rune Scar Demon just gonna run away with the game? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're just gonna cast the Wilmog again. And we're gonna knock this dude right out of the game. Are you ready? Can Are we you? Play boots too? No, we don't have enough. Dang it. I know we're too we have exactly enough for Ul Ulamoggles. Guess who's back? Mog is back. This is for that mental misstep, you little biscuit. I'm sorry, what? Nothing. Nothing. Reet. I want to see Michael B in the apple bottom jeans and the boots <laughs> with the fur. The fur. Ben, I swear to God, if you just floated this mana for no reason, just for funsies, okay. Watch him go land Splinter Twin and just kill us all next turn. It could happen. Yeah, this is why this combo is just so disgusting in all formats. Here we go, land Splinter Twin. You ready? Mm hmm. Are you ready, Boots? Are you ready, Michaels? Um, no, I said no. I don't even have any mana left, you stupid mind eye. Here it comes. I need you to stop. This is unbelievable. <laughs> How is this real life? I feel like two of these is greedy. I also don't like capsize that much. I think it seems like it's better in theory than it is in practice, but you know better than I do. No, it's a great value card. Oh, there we go, cast off. Wow. I this is uh, like concede. Go we've ahead. exiled four of his lands. He mental messed up this last game. I don't understand how why this is happening. I thought this game was going very well for us. It was. Until it wasn't. 
Now you really have to wear the apple bottle jeans and the boots with the fur. <laughs> I think you want more lands for sure. I can see that. What are you cutting? Signets? You could probably cut... Um, probably don't need both. I could probably cut like, like Swiftfoot boots. What about boots. Mage? No, I like that because it gets boots and signets. So we're cutting the boots? Uh, yeah, because they're, they're worse than Greaves, right? Right. Yeah, so cut the boots. Yeah, boots is hexproof and haste, but it costs one. This is shroud and haste, but it costs zero. Yeah, cut that one. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Add some kind of red land. Uh, I would say... Um, what about graven cairns? I suppose so. Okay, okay. Get them apple bottom jeans and the mics with the fur. Uh, I like sunken runes too, if you want to. Just the blue black one? Yeah. Sure. Mm, sure. What about like an Ascanta? You got a search for Ascanta? That seems pretty good. We need to cut one more thing now. Maybe it's this. Yeah, I don't think we need that. Because you only have you don't have they have nineteen creatures. I don't think you're going super hard with Marchesa unless you already have. Yeah, it's really just for the leaves of sneak attack. We could probably cut like a couple of the fatties too. Probably don't need them all. The fatty boom baddies. I don't. How do you feel about Emerald? No, I like that one. Okay. Well, I think these are the strong ones here. Yeah. You don't want to take the annihilators and this guy just casting it as gas. Yeah, you don't want to cut any of those. So then you don't want to cut any of them as well. What about Jin Cataxius? Oh, I, really like I do too. Do you need both of these? Probably. Probably, yeah. We could probably cut Shieldred. I mean, it's value, but I don't think we need it. Like, it's not going to win you the game in the spot. The Shieldred bottom jeans and the boots. Is Kokusha just too cute? I like the life gain, though, that it provides. It's a 15 life. It's not nothing. What about, what's our last land that we're adding? Do you have both oh, of these? I, was, I thought I did. Maybe I don't. I only saw this yeah. one. What's the, the other one? Why don't you, how do you not have? Like, party? Something party? Party. I thought I had party in the name. Celebration? Shit. Did you just add a card? Uh, nope, I just removed a card. And I have no idea what it would be. Is there an undo? Oh god, that's so obnoxious. It is not celebration or party. Luxury suite. That's hilarious. <laughs> so you cut a random card. It had to be a land. It had it was a land, yeah, because we went to we were at thirty. Maybe there's a bottom land. Was there anything under the wooded foothills? Are the cairns both there? The both of them? Graven cairns and sunken ruins are both there. Probably just had like a mountain, right? Like a mountain. Can someone actually clip it real quick to just see what we cut? It would show you the card that was highlighted and it would show it leaving. The blue-black aftermath card that is negative two to everything then steal a guy from each player on the back half. It was Morphic Pool? It was Morphic Pool. Oh, Finity, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate thank it. You, what's the what's the blue-black card? What are you referring to? Because that sounds pretty gas. Uh, it's the energy guy, I believe. Neg two, neg two. Steal a guy from each player on the back half? Yeah, it's... um. No, there's no blue-black energy card, though. There's no black energy cards. You sure about that? Mm. Yeah, I'm 100 percent sure. Mm, I don't think you're right on that. There's no black. Oh no, there's there's black energy cards. You're right. I'm an idiot. I thought it was a teamer thing, but no, there's black energy cards. Oh, it's an aftermath card. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. It was the rare one, wasn't it? Uh, no. Apple bottom jeans and the boots with the fur. Apple bottom jeans. Michael B has the boots with the fur. Why can't I find it though? I don't know what it is. Rags to riches. There it is. There it is. There it is. All creatures get negative two, negative two. Each opponent chooses a creature they control. You gain control of those creatures for seven. It's not bad. It's all right. Pretty versatile. I would actually play that over damnation, maybe. Really? Uh, damnation is pretty solid. Well, if you like every card in the deck, then what? what's the point? I'm working here, man. You like Pact Negation? Yeah. Okay. Definitely not cutting Pact. It's a free counter spell. Definitely not cutting Pact. 
not cutting Swan Song. I'm not cutting Counterspell. I'm not cutting Mana Drain. <laughs> I'm definitely not we cutting get it. I Clever get it. Impersonator. I'm definitely I not cutting I might cut Clever Impersonator. I uh, yeah, I can see that. This is a card that's like, it's only as good as what your opponents have. Which but is, what about Silumgar's Command? It's not bad. What does that one do again? Uh, just bounces a planes. I don't know. We'll just look it up. So. What about Mystic Confluence? I fucking love Mystic Confluence. Silumgar's Command is counter a non-creature spell, return a permanent to its owner's hand, destroy a planeswalker, or neg three, neg three until I return to it. Does sound pretty spicy. It's a lot of. Yeah, I actually don't know how you don't have Mystic Confluence in here. Said that. It's also like Cryptic Command. Actually, wow. How do you not have either of these in here? What the hell's wrong with you, man? <laughs> now I need to cut two more cards. Okay. Clever Impostinator. Impostinator? Clever Impostinator. Wait, is, is Impersonator might be better than Metamorph. It costs a mana extra, but it's way more versatile because it can copy. Yeah, it. I can agree with that. You like Hatred? What are we hatreding? Uh, well, you want to be able to pay life because of Marchesa. So you can be not the highest life total, and you can use her ability. It still seems kind of narrow. Yeah. All right. I can see that. I guess we cut it. This is 99. We're back at 99 again. Citadel is really good. We just never got to play it. I think this is probably better. Yeah, more controlly, but better. Man, you did not have Mystic Confluence or Cryptic Command in the deck? Well, I cut him early because I didn't know what to cut. <laughs> That's what you chose? Does this deck need more removal, too? <sighs> Maybe, but, like, the problem is, like, you're just going to run into, like... You have so many mana rocks here, dude. Yeah, but they're they're pretty needed, as you could tell. How could I tell that? Plus, we're only running, like, 30 lands anyway, so... You don't want to go too low on that. Mana rocks got low. Or is it low, better just to low. run lands over the rocks? I don't know. Well, that's what I was saying. I was saying like cut enough to, that you have your your mana base at at like your baseline level. What rocks would you cut for lands? Curse of the Cabal. What's that? That is interesting. It's like a really weird one. It's got like this shrieking face on it, I think. Oh, no, it's this one. I was thinking of... Oh, Crystal Ball is like each player... Did you say Crystal Ball? Sacrifices half their permanence or whatever? Yeah. Target player sacrifices half the permanence they control rounded down. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, if it's suspended, that player may sacrifice a permanence, and they put two time counters on it, so they basically get to prevent it from... But it is four to suspend. So, it's also so expensive. I, you know, I, don't, I don't like that. It's also 10 mana if you want to just hard cast it. Lands are greater than Signets. I agree. You think so? Yeah, because you want to hit your, all your land drops. There were just so many times where I would cut one. I would cut one at least. So it's the worst one. I think it's one power stone because you have actually a lot of color requirements in the deck. Yeah, but taps for two, which I think is better than a signet. It also comes in play tap, though. Yeah, that's fine. I think you just want colored mana, dude. Like, we were having a hard time with our colored mana in every single game. We need a double red for this. We need a double black for this. We needed. I think you're being greedy. Oh, I like Arguel's Bloodfast better than. Uh, what does that do? It's uh, it's the two mana enchantment. You can pay two mana to uh, two mana and two life to draw a card. I'd just rather play Frexian Arena at that point, right? I like Frexian Arena too. Maybe play Frexian Arena over Necropotence because it's easier to cast. I like that a lot. Also, less people will cringe when you play that. I also do like Coalition Rel or Chromatic Lantern over Worn Power Stone. Oh, that's good. I like that, yeah. Coalition Relic seems good. Let's do that. Show it. Switch. Switch uh, over Necropotence. La 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 Lantern over Power, power Stone. Stone. Yeah, that seems good. That fixes all your mana problems. Yeah, yeah that's, that's very good. Oh, I like Mana Confluence a lot, actually. Mana Confluence definitely should be here. Over what, like an island? Yeah, probably just another island. We still have three. We have six basics still, which is probably plenty. Plus, we got that Urborg. That Irby, Irby boy. I think this is probably good. This is 30. Yeah, this it's is it. This 31 lands plus all the rocks. That's got to be enough mana, right? Like, I don't think we need anything else. 
all the rocks. What's up, Backlight? What up, Chris? There's something you can run over Grim Mono with just for the price tag. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I don't want to play it in real life. Because it's like $100, dude. It's you funny. can cut two to three rocks. I think you could cut like one rock, at least one. You got Signet, 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 two talismans. Maybe you just cut the two talismans for like more spells. I do want, I wish we had more early card advantage or selection. You have Ponder and Preordains. What about Recall? Yeah, you can't run that one. That's too bad, man. Is Read the Bones any good? I'd rather play uh, the th the three mana draw three than that. Three mana draw three. Uh, painful, painful truths, quandaries, or whatever. Painful qu quandaries. I actually kind of like painful truths here because uh, it also deals you damage from Archesa, so you're not the highest. Yeah, let's run that. Three life, three cards is good. Over which one? Which signet? Definitely no. one of the talismans. Yeah, that's what I meant. Discovery dispersal is pretty good. Each opponent returns a non-land permanent they control with the highest amount of mana cost, and then they discard a card. That's the high end, and the first one is two mana, just surveil two, then draw a card. Mm. I'd rather run, like, Serum Visions. I, yeah, but you have the versatility of Dispersal in the late game, where all your opponents bounce their most expensive card, and then they discard something. Yeah. Plus, it's an instant, so, like... We should add Visions. I think we should add Ancestral Visions. That seems good here. My only concern with Ancestor Vision is like just drawing it at the wrong time. Yeah, but I've played it enough Commander, it's usually, it's usually good. Well, now I need to cut something. What is Diabolic Vision? you got to sacrifice a creature. Fill my eyes with Diabolic Vision. You know that song? Diabolic Vision? Mm -hmm. Do you? I don't even see it here. What's going on? Is that a card? Just make this shit up? Are you lying? I don't even see a card called Diabolic Vision. Is this just a made up? Oh, Red there it black is. One. I found it. What does it do? Look at the top five cards. Put one in your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. That's pretty good. It's an old timey Ice Age card. Yeah, I like Visions better. We could probably get the Talisman for another land. You got 32 lands? Yeah. Well, we cut the talisman for the ancestral, so now we gotta. Now we gotta make one more cut if we want to land. Plus, like trinket mage is just another rock, right? Like we're only hitting rocks with it, so. Or tribute mage, rather. Yeah. I also cast ancestral regal twice in one turn tonight, playing temple of sped. Sped. What the heck's temple of sped? Is that is that had to be a missed a typo, right? Temple of Brow. Mow. Chris, what are you saying? What was the card? How did you do it? Temple of Speed. <laughs> this is where he goes to do meth. <laughs> Temple of T Texas Daily is just a Nambo with Bolas of Citadel. How so? I mean, you just play it for three life and then you pay more life, I guess. Even if it is a Nambo, Toxic Daily is still worth running. Oh, Toxic Daily is Painful Truths is a Nambo with Bolas of Citadel? Why? You just, cause you pay six man six life to draw three? T oh, Temple of Sped is a deck. Oh, see, that makes much more sense then. You can play this if you cast this spell, so you pay life equals to mana cost rather than pay its mana costs. How is that a non -bow? Because you you don't pay any colors into it, so it doesn't work. Oh yeah, so what though? That's so narrow. Like yeah, every well, other I mean, we could run. Uh, what's, the, what's the scry to draw to? You could run that instead. Read the bones. Yeah, you just read, read the bones. You want to just read the bones instead? Yeah. You want to read the boners instead? Yeah, I want to read the boners. <laughs> so, okay, don't repeat it back. It's weird. I just want to jam a warm coil on this deck just to have something to gain life. I do look. You got Kokush. You got that. That Kush? Yeah, you got that purple Kush. 
Purple Kokush. Um, I, don't look, I think this looks better. Yeah. Can you scroll over a little bit? Which way? The right or left? The right. Yeah, I like this. Me too. Me too. Just a little more control, a little more focused. Yeah, I like that. I can see adding like maybe one wrath effect to it. You got damnation. Oh, Notion Thief. Do and you have Toxic Deluge. Notion Thief isn't great if you don't have any ways to draw sevens, right? I guess it just randomly stops your opponents from doing that. You'd have Time Spiral, though. Yeah, that's true. Is Time Spiral better than like Days Undoing in this deck? Not Days Undoing, though, a new one? I mean, it's untaps your lands, which is super relevant. The other one doesn't. You're right. It's basically take an extra turn, right, without a combat sub. Mike, you know the top Aether Flux Citadel combo? No. You play top. I, I'm just going to assume. I'm just going to guess it off the off the name. You play Sensei's Divining Top. You tap it to draw a card, putting it on top of your library. Then you replay it for one life off the top of your library, and then you can just go infinite with Aether Flux Reservoir. Seems pretty sick. You'd have to have a top and an Aether Flux Reservoir in the deck. Let's do it. But it is its own combo, so. Because and then and, and then every time you play it again, you gain an extra life. So you'll like pay one to play it, then gain two life. Pay one right. to play it, gain three life. So you basically just that's actually a pretty sick infinite combo. I I said Ristic Study. He was like meh. Uh, don't like the Ristic Study. Huh? Or what though? I don't know. You didn't ask over water. I just don't like it. Is Capsize as good as he thinks it is? I feel like he's overvaluing it. It's an out for Pelicron's infinite mana too, which is nice. You can bounce all the permanents with it. Jeez, that sounds exhausting on Magic Online. In real life, that's fine. No, just, is Show and Tell a trap? <laughs> no, man. I got good targets for Show and Tell. I like to Show and Tell my uh, Omniscience. That's pretty good. That's real good if you got it. Um... Probably cut the Notion Thief. Okay. That makes me sad. But what about Vandal Blast? Do you still like Vandal Blast the main deck? Yeah, cut Phyrexian yeah. Arena, it's too slow. Nah, I don't dis I don't agree with that. I don't know, man. I mean drawing an extra card every turn is pretty good, right? I mean drawing an extra drawing yeah. I mean yes. Oh, Ristic Study over Arena is probably pretty good. Easier to cast. Yeah, and like you don't have to do anything for it. Like you could draw like at least two cards a turn. Yeah, all right. Let's 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 swap that. I don't think I have a Ristic Study, but that's fine. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, you may draw a card unless that. Yeah, that's just it's just such a good card, and it's easier on the mana. True. We need one more cut. Yes. Is it Trivia Mage? I like the spiciness of that, though. But it's only getting a rock. Or boots, which is super relevant. I guess it does get boots. Like, he boots up one of your guys, and you just lose. What about Thran Dynamo? No, I like that. I what like about... The problem, I like them all. That like is the... All. Yeah, that is that is the issue, isn't it? At Isaiah Zhu, it's Nate, Michael. Do you have you have all the you have all the shocks and all the fetches right? Yeah. yeah. Or all the shocks and all the uh, yeah, the duels. Yeah, all those, yeah. I guess we could cut Dynamo. Oh, now he's coming around to it. Just adds a lot of mana, which is super relevant. Is it? Yeah, I mean we have big fatties. Like my curve is pretty high. But we also have like ten rocks. Let's look at all our rocks. I like rocks. I want you to look at all our rocks. Look, look at your special rocks. <laughs> Should oh be my us. god. There's 10 rocks in this deck. Well, that's without dynamo, right? So, like, this is... With your lands, this is 41 of your cards. Yeah. Produces mana. I like that, though. I like that, though. All right, but I'm saying Maybe 41... Maybe Visions is too slow. What about Ugin? Not Ugin's gas, dude. <laughs> I'm never cutting Ugin. <laughs> You ever cast that card? You're like, Mike is like the hoarder, right? And I'm going to his house and I'm like trying to help him. I'm like, let me, let me go. I'm come to your house. I'm going to help you get rid of some of your stuff. And I go around his house and I, I like pick up everything. I'm like, what about this? Is, is this nice? Does this spark joy? And he's like, no, nah, I really like that. And I'm like, okay, how about this bag of trash? And he's like, no, nah, man, that's my favorite bag of trash. 
And I'm just going around his house trying to get him to clear out his hoarding tendencies. And uh, it doesn't work. He just, uh, he just wants to keep everything. So it's really difficult. Cut infinite gyre? No way. No, we're, we're, trying, to, we're trying to sneak attack here. So having uh, the annihilator is pretty relevant. Don't hate on hoarders. <laughs> Maybe visions is too slow. I, I, I can see cutting it. So, especially because we just added Rhystic Study, I think. Yeah. Let's just keep... Let's, let's call this a deck. I think this is good. I'm going to export this. It's going to be in the description below. Definitely check that out if you guys are interested. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not going anywhere. I'll be right back. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, check out Manatraders.com. They are the ones who sponsor this stream regularly. And uh, they are who I borrowed these cards from that we were missing. And you can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off there along with free shipping and free returns. And check out CoolStuffInc.com. I had a new article go up just today, actually. Uh, it was about some of the newest players in Modern, thanks to Modern Horizons. So check that out. And uh, if you use promo code FRANK5, you'll get 5% off. So definitely check all those links and affiliates and promo codes. They are in the description below. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.